We expect a visual departure. After departure, we have a continuous right turnout all the way to uh, Labla. 8.6. Control check, and a roll left. Three green. And a roll right. Three green. Leave it and forward. Two green. My name is Kita Nagatu. I'm a first officer for Ethiopian Airlines. So today our flight is a ET3724 from Addis to uh, initially to Cairo, then to Riyadh. The reason that uh, we did a stop in Cairo is uh, because of the our performance lead limited uh, takeoff weight out of Addis. Uh, we were uh, we would like to do it direct to Riyadh, but uh, as we all know. Addis Ababa is a high elevation airport, so the higher the elevation, it's uh, the lighter the air. air. So that means uh, less engine performance. So we can we cannot uh, use all our takeoff performance, even if uh, MD11 can lift up uh, until 20, 285,000 tons of uh, uh, weight out of a sea level airport. But from Addis, we are limited. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is. Uh First of the David, I've uh, been around as uh, Ethiopian Airlines uh, for now seven years now. I've uh, been uh, flying the MD-11 for uh, now 18 months. And uh, today I think uh, we are uh, flying from Hong Kong to Addis via Chennai for a technical stop at Chennai. Then uh, after one hour stay at Chennai, we'll continue our flight to uh, Addis. Uh, today uh, we have a cargo of something like 80 tons from Hong Kong. Uh, and the weather's good and route. And expect good conditions at uh, Chennai. Uh, for now, uh, I'll just brief you around about uh, the layout uh, of the MD-11 cockpit. Basically, we have everything that we need on the PFD now. Uh, for instance, we are uh, maintaining Mach uh, decimal 8 to almost. Uh, we are maintaining altitude of 2,000 feet. We are on heading of uh, 352 now. Currently, the, auto, uh, the flight management system is taking over. So, uh, it's coupled with autopilot, so uh, we are currently uh, the autopilot is uh, currently flying uh, what we have put in the FMC. Uh, currently we are flying over the airspace of Thailand and uh, we can actually see uh, this routing on the maps. Uh, this is a navigation display and the navigation display we can, uh, in this airplane we can, you can also see uh, the weather in route. Uh, we have the weather radar controls over there and uh, currently we have some weather. Uh, it's not that bad or uh, affecting our routing. So uh, on the weather radar you can actually see the different uh, shades of color, like the yellow, uh, the green uh, for this flight. You can actually see the electrical system, uh, the output from the three engine driven generators. Uh, we can al also see the or control uh, the air system uh, for the three uh, bleed system, three pack systems. You can actually see the cabin altitude and uh, the landing altitude, uh, also the position of the outflow valve. Uh, to control the pressurization of the airplane. Uh, we can also see the fuel system uh, on this display. Uh, the fuel system, we can actually see the amount of fuel that we have on board on each tank. Uh, currently for uh, uh, CG or center of gravity control, uh, the airplane uh, is transferred automatically uh, some amount of fuel to the tail tanks. After landing, Rani, two, three right. We expect to back it to the left via Alpha 3 and uh, we join Alpha to one of the stands and that's cleared. Okay. And briefing is come to Dallas if you have any questions. 
Okay, Mr. Approach, turn left on 186, climbing to 2500. Roger, I'll check that. Okay. Last 28. Last 28 cents. Yeah, I'll be in gear down. Gear down. Top break speed. Top break speed. Laps 35 before landing checklist. Laps 35. Before landing. Okay. Down for green. One hundred, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Spoiler deployed, reverse 